Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find out the leader in an array. So let's see, see, this is the array and now we have to find out the leaders in this array. So now what is a leader? See, for a leader L, all elements on right side of L are less than L. So what does it mean? See, in this array, 16 is the leader. So why 16 is the leader? Because all elements on the right side of 16, on the right side of 16 are less than 16. Okay, means all elements on the right side of L, that is this leader 16, are less than this element L. Okay, now what is an another leader? So see, as you go further, you can find 6. For 6, all elements on right side of 6 are less than 6. Okay, that is why 6 is the leader. And obviously, the last element 4 is the leader because there is no element after 4. Means, the last index is 6 and the array ends here. So, the last element in the array is always a leader. Okay? Because it is obviously greater than all elements on the right. Because there are 0 elements on the right. Okay? So, let's see how to find out the leader. Okay? Let's see the code. So, first method is the simple method which uses two for loops. The time complexity of this method is O of n square. Okay? It is close to n square. So, the time complexity is O of n square. Now, let's see how it finds out. So, i and j are the variables which trace this array. Okay? So, i traces the element for which we are going to check the condition of the leader. I traces that element and j traces each element after i. So, suppose we want to check for 15. We want to check the leader condition for 15. Then i points to 15 means the 0th index and j goes from first index to the last index on the right side of 0th index. Now, an another example. Suppose you want to check 2 for the leader. Okay? Then I will point to this third index, to this element and J traces each element on the right side of third index means the 4th, 5th and 6th index. So, j goes from 4 to 6 and i stays at third index. So, we check each element whether they are less than the ith element or not. So, let's see. So, let's execute this code on this array. So, i is 0 at first and j is i plus 1 to n. j will go from i plus 1 to n. So, as i is 0, so j will go from 1 to 6. Okay? n is the size of the array here. Okay? Now, in this case, n is 7. So, let's see. As j goes from 1 to n, for the first loop, j is equal to 1. So, 0 plus 1. So, j points to 1. So, check. Whether array of j is greater than or equal to array of i means whether the element is greater than the ith element, whether jth element is greater than ith element. Yes, it is greater. In this case, 16 is greater than 15. Right? 16 is greater than 15. That means 15 is not the leader and so we break. Okay, because see, if 15 wants to be the leader, then all elements on the right side of 15 must be less than 15. 
but in this case 16 is greater than 15 so 15 is not the leader and so we break okay now in the further loops i will tell you how this condition works okay so for now let's go to the next for loop okay next for loop so now i becomes 1 okay so i is incremented so i becomes 1 that is why j becomes 2 so j starts from 2 to the last element so the sixth index okay so j goes from 2 to 6 so let's see here at first j is 2 okay now see if array of j is greater than array of i so whether 3 is greater than 16 no it is not so this if condition is not satisfied so we don't break and we go to the next for loop then j is incremented so j goes to the next element okay so whether 2 is greater than 16 now no it is not so this condition is again not satisfied and we go to the next loop so j becomes 4 whether 6 is greater than 16 no so j is again incremented whether 1 is greater than 16 no so j is incremented whether 4 is greater than 16 no so j is incremented and j now becomes 7 okay and when j becomes 7 so this 7 less than 7 condition is not satisfied because 7 is not less than 7 7 is equal to 7 so we come out of this for loop and we reach this condition now at this condition if j equal to equal to n means if 7 is equal to equal to 7 then that element means that element i is the leader why is that so because for element i all the elements on right side are checked and all the elements are less than 16 okay there is no element which is greater than 16 and when j was checking at each condition when j went from 2 to 6 and when j became 7 that means all elements are over but we have not yet found the element which is greater than 16 means the ith element and that is why percentage d that is i is the leader okay so 16 is the leader now after we complete this for loop we go to the next for loop so let's see whether any other elements are the leader in this array so i becomes 2 and j starts from 3 to 6 and when j becomes 7 we come out of the loop so we found out these three leaders 16 6 and 4 so this is the way this code works and the time complexity is o of n square now let's see the more efficient method which uses only one for loop time complexity is o of n okay so let's see how does this work now as you know the basic condition is that for any element if all the elements on the right side are less than that element then that is the leader so what does this mean see suppose this is one element 8 how do you know if 8 is greater than all the elements on its right side okay all the elements on its right side in other way I will say 8 is greater than the maximum element on the right side okay so suppose you find out the maximum element from this array that the maximum is 5 okay so I say if 8 is greater than 5 then obviously 8 is greater than all the elements in this array okay see 8 is one element and 5 is the maximum element in this array okay 5 is the max then 
if this element 8 is greater than 5 then only with this one comparison I can say that 8 is greater than all the elements in this array all the elements in this array okay because 8 is greater than the maximum element in this array okay so now suppose this is the zeroth index and this is the first second third and fourth index okay if the element at ith index means this zeroth index if this element is greater than the maximum element on its right then that element is the leader okay that means you have to maintain the maximum element from right mfr means the max from right okay now Let's see the code. How do we maintain that? So see, MFR is equal to array of n minus 1. So for this code, we are going to start at the end. Okay. So I will make the last element as the maximum element at first. Okay. So this is the element that is 4 is the maximum element now. Okay. So, integer MFR is equal to array of n minus 1. As n is 7, n minus 1 is 6. Okay. So, MFR is equal to 4. And as you know, the last element is the leader. I will declare this last element as leader. Okay. That is the first step. The last element becomes leader. Okay. Now, let's go inside the loop i is equal to n minus 2 i starts from the second last element and it goes up to 0 okay now see if array of i is greater than mfr means this is the element i for which now we want to check the leader condition okay so for index i what are the elements on right side so here we don't need to check that we just have to deal with mfr the maximum from right because we want to do only one comparison for each element only one comparison and that comparison is with the maximum from right so check whether one is greater than mfr means whether array of i is greater than mfr no, it is not greater. So, that means this is not the leader. This is not the leader. And i is decremented. Okay. And i is decremented with this i minus minus. Okay. Now, see. Whether 6 is greater than MFR. Whether 6 is greater than MFR. Yes, 6 is greater than 4. That means 6 is the leader. Okay. 6 is the leader and now 6 becomes the new max from right okay so why it becomes max from right because see for all the elements on its left for all the elements which we are going to trace now means 3 2 1 0 the max from right is 6 so we assign 6 to MFR. Okay. Now, I is decremented in the next loop and check whether array of I is greater than MFR. 2 is greater than 6. No. So, that is not a leader. I is decremented. Now, check whether 3 is greater than 6. No. So, I is decremented. Whether 16 is greater than 6. Yes, it is. So, this is the leader. And new MFR is 16 now. Okay. And I is decremented. Right. So now. Whether 15 is greater than 16. No. It is not. So. This is not the leader. And I is decremented. And I becomes minus 1. And when I becomes minus 1. We come out of this for loop. Okay. We come out of this for loop. So, in this way, we found out all the three 
leaders in this array so these are the three leaders okay so this code works in o of n time complexity only o of n hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you